Hi guys, it's Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and this tutorial will be on this bracelet that I think I'll just call Two Chains, because that's basically all it is. This uh, center chain you make at the beginning, running up here, and this chain actually gets just woven in and out. So this will be a really quick tutorial. I'll show you how to set it up. I've actually got the one that I've got I posted and I've taken it apart again. So you start off with a chain. Uh, you probably want to use a chain that's sort of smooth. It's not as sticky, maybe, because you're going to be pulling uh, the other chain through it. So I've used limited edition bands here. But just any decent size bands um, that aren't too sticky would be good to put through that. And then I would recommend that you use a thinner chain, a thinner band to pull through, um, or a smooth band as well. So once you've got one chain made, your central chain, then you actually start your other chain in the same cap band. And I would recommend that you don't make a huge amount. You're going to use quite a length of chain. Um, this chain is probably going to need to be at least three times this one. But you're going to be winding it in and out the whole length of the chain as you go. So you don't want to be having to pull through the whole length of the chain all the way from the beginning. So I would do maybe, you know, half the length of that chain to start with. And um, I've just slip knotted it off. Reasonably tight slip knot because it is getting pulled around. And then all you need to do, you can either do it with your fingers or with your hook. You just get the next link up the chain and push that slip knot through. It really is just weaving in and out with the chain you've made. So keep a firm grip of the, the single chain that's going to be the one that's being woven into and just pull it through. Now you can leave this to your own liking. You can leave it with a wider amount. I think I left about that much on the one that I posted, but you can certainly leave it with more, just means you need a longer chain as you go through. Then turn it around, you can decide whether you want it to be you know, neat and consistent as you turn it, or as I just did it, however it came out, because I wanted it just, I just wanted to see what would happen if I did it, which is how a lot of my designs get made. I just like to see how that happens. So this one, when you're working from the right hand side, it could be easier to grab at least the first part through with your hook. I wouldn't recommend pulling everything through with your hook, your fingers are easier, but that first part through with the hook works quite well. So again, keep a firm grip on the one you're pulling it through and pull it through to the tension that you would like. I guess you could turn it round, that might be the easiest. Pop it through grab your slip knot there, get that through first and then use your fingers to just pull it through, keeping a firm grip on this. If you let that kind of go it makes it quite hard to pull this other one through. So I would just recommend sort of keeping it roughly even, of course you can even it out at the end. I think this is a little wider than the one that I did that I posted so you can always as you go just adjust it a little like so or you can adjust it out wider. But it's probably a good idea to decide what you want to do at the beginning in these first few so that you're not adjusting the entire band when you're finished because that could be a pain. Okay, so through, grab that and pull it through the other side and just pull it through. Something like that. Next one. slip knot and just pull it through the next chain from the opposite side. Whoops. Like so. It's a very forgiving. Adjust it as you think as you go. Like so. And keep going. Now when you get to the end of your slip knotted chain, of course this is not going to be nearly long enough 
to go the length of the chain. All you need to do is undo that slip knot and make more of this chain, which I think is um, I think it's the 600 pack Persian white that I'm using on this one. Okay, so I've got to the end of there. So I'm just going to carefully undo that and make some more. I can find where I put my Persian white. Make some extra chain. And even though it doesn't really matter because it's um, a fairly rough sort of idea, if you keep your chain straight as you're making it, I think it's a nicer look. So if you keep this chain sort of straight and untwisted, it gives you more options for making your um, rest of your bracelet look neater as you pull it through. So it's up to you how much more you want to do all at once. As I said, I found that about half the length of the chain that you're working into is not too bad to work with. I wouldn't recommend the full length. It's just too much to pull through each time. It's a bit of a pain. So we'll just pop those on. Just working quickly. And again, slip on it. You could put a C-clip on it if you wanted to. And we go back to that same process. Popping it through there, grabbing the slip knot, pulling it through, and then using your fingers to ease it through. Like so. Again, working from the opposite side. Grabbing it, pulling it through. And then working out this way. So every sort of half to quarter length, I've just double checked that it's actually the kind of um, length, or what would you call it, bump out the side the curve of that that you're wanting. If you want it more out the side, then pull it back. If you want it less, then pull it forward. So you work it all the way to the end of your bracelet. I'm not going to do the whole one on this for the tutorial. So as we go, once you get to the end of this, chain that's weaving through, you'd keep adding more of those loops on. And that's how you get that effect. So I think this is probably a little bit out wider than the one I posted. Just give it a little bit of a tug through and adjust it before you finish. But you might like it out a little wider. So it's completely up to do. You might like to do the center chain uh, a completely different color and this one to be like one one color all the way through and this one to be like a rainbow color or, or whatever it's you can just play around with it um, and do what you like it should sit nice and flat and be very interesting you can even have it you know lots out make it kind of a little bit unusual if you wanted to if you like your bracelets a little bit kooky and then when you get to the end that very last chain, all you need to do. So I assume that's the end of my bracelet there and I'm going to stop there. You just put your hook through, excuse me, hook through there, making sure that you're actually capturing the loops, you're not putting it through the side so it's going to slip off. And then grab those two and put it through there. If you wanted to, to finish off, you could slide those through and then put a band through like that to be consistent with the look of the bracelet. So that's another option that you could do to finish. So there you go. That's my 
two chains bracelet that you can play with as you like. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, if it's been helpful. Give me a subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. Crazy just might work. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with more tutorials. Thanks guys. Bye.